Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, uh, we have asked your angels whatever you are inquiring about whatever you have in question sit with yourself in a quiet space indoors outdoors wherever go into meditation with that question on your heart in your mind and just wait for answers the answer may already be within you you already know something but if you are feeling a sense of confusion meditation soothes that confusion i know it sounds cliche. Nobody wants to hear it. Everybody wants a yes or no right now. But you're going to have to do this for yourself. Sit quietly wherever you are with that question on your heart and your mind. And watch what comes to you. See what comes to you uh, in sight, in hearing, um, in feeling, and just in inner knowing. And see that confusion, that frustration just melt away just by meditation okay so um that's what they want you to know here in this whole situation um aquarius it looks like a, a lot of you are just focused on um work uh if you do um if you work for someone else you're focused on that you for a lot of you you're business owners or this is what you aspire to be and you're focusing on just that how to get up how to get ahead in business it says good news about business matters whether it is your business or it is just in terms the business of things of legal issues of um, selling and buying or uh, trade whatever your business is good news and business is coming because you have the uh, wealthy man showing up and this is your energy um i pulled this asking the cards what's Aquarius energy wealthy man you could be a wealthy man Aquarius or this is the energy that you're taking on if you're a female you're acting a more in your masculine having great ideas come to you being very powerful using all that you have to manipulate the energy around you to bring about a uh, better business um, um, business opportunity aspiration and goals meeting goals here in business some of you you definitely focused on work okay this is your energy again aquarius you're focused on work working hard you are working hard um you're focused on money finances um just things that will bring you um a reward a return okay so you put in and then you get back out and that is what aquarius is is focused on right now also um, to flip the script here, uh, some of you have been very controlled with your energy, okay? Um, you're not giving out a lot of energy, whether that's emotional, physical, mental, none of that. Um, you're kind of harnessing, harnessing or kind of, um, you know, storing up all of your energy for yourself so that you can use it to bring about uh, better news better uh results in your own life once again geared toward the business matters in your life so aquarius is is, is right now focused about focused on the tangible focused on money money related issues work getting the return on their investment whether their investment is time money energy whatever aquarius is focused on the return here um some of you in relationships, you were in relationships where you felt like the other person had all the power or the control in the relationship. They wrote the script. They um, they were the narrator, okay? Um, they called the shots. So it looks like Aquarius has taken that power back and they have shut down completely physically, emotionally, mentally. There's no sex. There's no, nothing happening. It could be that you guys are apart from each other estranged for whatever reason but it looks like Aquarius felt like they were giving out once again all this energy all this force and not 
getting it back, not getting equal reciprocation or no reciprocation at all for some of you. So Aquarius is focused on reward and return and they weren't getting it in their love life. So they shut down shop, they closed up shop. Um, so it looks like uh, you're trying to control the narrative, maybe for some of you, um, trying to, you know, harness all that power for yourself. So maybe now you have, you're on the, you know, you have the upper hand, uh, you control the narrative here. That could be what you, some of you intentionally are doing. And for some of you, it was more of a self-preservation. Let me preserve myself, my energy, my time, my sanity, because giving all of this and getting nothing or very little in return will drive me nuts, will drive me crazy, will drive me to be arrested. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, it looks as if you felt like Aquarius, you were dealing with a immature man. Um, this person could be younger than you, if not younger than you, very youthful. It seems as if some, they're kind of stuck in some paradigm, some type, some, uh, some period in their lifetime. It's got them stuck like in a time warp. It's almost as if this person won't grow. They refuse to grow, grow emotionally, mentally. They just refuse to take things to the next level immaturity, um, playfulness, uh, just not being serious about people relationships is the name of the game for them. And it seems as if you kind of extracted yourself from this person, from this energy, because you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. You could have been dealing with someone who was into sporting events, competition, maybe drove a fast car or sports car, got a lot of attention. It could be that person, okay? Um, it just seems that right now there is estrangement. Your person feels like there are obstacles being put in the way of them coming back to you or coming to you or the relationship altogether. It's just obstacles being thrown um, to where they, it delays obstacles, where they're just not able to um, rush into you, okay? And this might be the divine holding that back here, higher power. Um, made to put this obstacle in between the two of you so you both can step back and look at things from um, a detached perspective okay um maybe this is what your person needed they didn't need you in their energy you didn't need them in yours in order for you both to get some things done individually in your own lives grow up for and maybe it was time for aquarius to grow up also in a different aspect and it was time for this other person to grow up in a different aspect so maybe this is um a bit of mirror mirroring so you guys are mirroring each other also you attract what you are the law of attraction is working for you or against you at all times against you if you have not done the work on yourself okay so you're going to find people who have not done the work who are just like you um so when you say i keep meeting all these bombs i keep meeting people who are this who are that okay that very well may be a fact. Now we need to examine exactly what you said and um, let's kind of put our finger on the fact of why you're meeting people who are. Because it's something in you that is attracting people who are. So you got to fix you first. And then when you get back out there in the dating market, in the field, you'll start meeting people who are just like you, who have healed, who are whole, who are ready. So anyway, um, that was a side note. So anyway, the, the person feels like the divine has put some things, some people, whatever, in the midst of where they can't come to you, you can't come to them. It's just a big barrier, obstacle. Um, your person also could feel like this is a karmic relationship. Um, not necessarily people hear karmic and then they hear, they hear karmic, but they really hear toxic, bad. Karmic is not just that. Karmic is for a higher purpose. It's for you to learn something, learn a lesson. This is destined for you to be at this place at this time with this person so that you can learn from. It's a higher purpose. So your person is actually seeing this relationship as um higher purpose, okay? it Maybe they are seeing it as, I need to grow up. I need to do this. I need to do that. And they're 
now viewing the relationship from a detached perspective because you guys are not together. So yes, um, your person is viewing it as obstacles in the way and karma right now. They're also viewing this relationship as past life. Feeling like they know your soul, know you on a soul level. They, they, they resonate with you. Um, feeling like you were home or, or, or they just know you. They, or it was a, when you met, you, you meshed well. It worked. This could be past life if you believe in past life. Um, this is what the card your person has. If you believe in past life, then um, yeah, you guys knew each other in another life, and now you're in this life, and you know maybe memories or sensory, you know um, memories are, are are showing up for this person to where they feel like this is um, someone that I resonate with. This is someone that my soul speaks to. Okay. Um, and they can feel like we need to, we were coming back together so that we can meet, finish up some karma, and then depart from each other. Or they can feel like this is a lifetime thing. So you got to ask your angels in terms of what your person wants with you lifetime. Or it was just a connection where we met. I learned my lesson. I go my own way. Or this is how you feel, Aquarius. I don't know. Um... Right now, Aquarius, you are saying to your person or just to yourself, look, um, I'm having financial issues. I can't focus on love. So your, your focus is not on love. It's on work, business matters, controlling your energy, yourself, um, harnessing all of that energy so that you can put it into something that will give you a greater return. This is what Aquarius is focused on. Your card that came out was the Queen of Clubs or the Queen of Wands in the Tarot. Um, she is the entrepreneur spirit. Uh, the Queens govern the threes. So you're trying to create more opportunities, more business acumen, opportunity, uh, contracts, so that um, you can get ahead. You can go forward. You can bring in money, something that gives you a return. You're putting yourself out there. You're doing the work. You're doing. You're trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. Also, you're multitasking. Um, yeah, you're just really uh, focused on business yourself, the business of you, branding yourself. Almost for some of you, also. Your person is um, saying with the child card coming up. You could be having a child. I don't know. Um, they definitely want a new start with you. They want to re restart something here. With the child card being an 18 card, which is the 9, you guys are separated. You are in solitude from one another, at least, uh, or in separation from one another. Um, this person is saying, I'm going to come to you with a small, because the child card talks about small, small token, small gesture. So I'm going to come to you maybe with a small message, a simple message, a small token, uh, you know, of, of my love, a gift, or something small. They're going to start small here, but they definitely want to get your attention. They want to start something new here. Um, the child card talk, talks about springtime. Spring in the United States has already passed. If not springtime, um, it talks about shortly. So maybe this person will uh, contact you, reach out to you, do something in order to get your attention shortly. If not, then it's next springtime. So we're talking about next year. Don't know, Aquarius. Um, get a personal reading. Um, but anyhow, this person does want to come to you with a small uh, message, token of their love. Okay, so do expect that. Your person here, also the obstacle for your person could be the fact that they have something or someone else that they are obligated to, responsible for. Could be a marriage. Because your person is saying, I'm tired of being a husband or a wife. All right, so yeah. Your person is saying, I'm tired. I'm tired of showing up every single day to my relationship. I'm tired of being responsible. I'm tired of, of being obligated. I'm tired of the weight of being husband and or wife. I'm tired of it. Don't want to do it. I want to be free. I want to have hot girl summer, hot boy summer, whatever. I don't want it. Okay? Um, and that could be how someone is feeling about 
the relationship with you, Aquarius, or one that they're already in. I say one that they're already in because they're showing up as the Nine of Clubs. This card talks about the secret admirer, um, the new boyfriend, the new girlfriend. Somebody wants to be that to you, okay? And they are secretly crushing on you, looking back at the past, wondering if they still have opportunity with you, if they still uh, should fight for this, okay? Um, they aren't living in the present and they damn sure can't see the future right now. So they're looking back in the past. So your person is definitely living in the past, okay, here uh, with past life, uh, with the Nine of Wands showing up. It looks like for some of you, this is going to have a peaceful resolution, all right, eventually. When? I don't know, but eventually. Resolution. So to resolve. It's not to dissolve, so maybe the relationship will turn into something else here. The cards want you to trust the process, okay? Because it doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't mean that it isn't, okay? Um, and they want you to remain positive in all things that you do, your work, your relationships, um, and everything. They want you to communicate clearly in, uh, with all people in all things, business, personal, with family, um, communicate what it is you want for yourself, assert yourself, okay? Um, then when you know all of this is up to you, okay? Um, it's on you. You can have what you want here, okay? Um, there is someone uh, who is false around you. If you plan on marrying this person or being with this person, especially if they are a Gemini, I don't know why that's resonating because I don't have any tarot cards. But anyway, um, Gemini, Scorpio, yeah, it, it's going to be a lot of work to keep this relationship. Um, they have issues that they need to deal with all their own, on their own. And, and you don't have any part in that. You can prompt them to healing, but you're not responsible for their healing process and their journey. This person is wearing a false mask. They don't want to be what it is they're saying they want to be to you. For some of you, um, if you trust the process, this could end in engagement for you. This is a successful relationship. You could get wish fulfillment with um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you could have. You could definitely come to the. They could come to you, and say some things and communicate with you they regret not saying these things before you could have marriage and travel with this person later in life a new baby a new home just all things good in terms of this person and coming back to this person but it looks like you're going to have to trust the process here um if you are confused do meditate heal not yeah heal but do meditate take some time um to sit with yourself okay there is an energy here who is saying, um, I give you money and that should be enough. Enough. Um, somebody who does want a rich husband, okay? Um, if someone that someone's with, they're just with them for the money, okay? All right, so this is your reading, Aquarius. I hope that it brought you some information that you can use um if it did uh go over to the website get your own oracle reading like this one they are on sale now uh if you signed up on the website then um you should get the sale coupon but yeah the the oracle readings are on sale where we only use oracle cards to do your reading if you want to get a reading just like this one to gain more insight about your own life you can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link if you just want to say thank you. Um, if you just want to um, show your gratitude, appreciation. Uh, also, you can text a question or two to the number below. If you have a question, text it to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. All links are below. Get in on the full moon. Um, release ritual there's some things you need to release people places things come on let's do it Aquarius we can do it full moon happening on the 23rd three days from now get in on that ritual 
where uh, we can help release, okay? Um, release, relinquish, move in the new, okay? All right, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.